Hello, my name's Simon from Maximity and welcome to another Tips and Tricks session. In today's video, what I want to show you is how to have a dynamic dropdown. What I mean by that is a dropdown that you can add values to so that they'll appear in your data set when you're entering. We do that using a combination of tables and named ranges. Let's take a look. So in this example, we're going to create a risk log and I want to establish certain criteria for my risk log. So I'm going to create that into a table, format it, and I want to set some definitions of drop down lists within it. I'm specifically going to do a drop down list for the different scores. So I'm just going to list those out scores one to four and status. And you'll notice I've turned these both areas into tables. Once they're in tables, I then want to actually create a named range. So I've highlighted just the values, give it a name, and notice that when, when you've given it a name, it reverts back to the table. That's okay. You just highlight the values and give it a name. And what I want you to notice here is that um, if I add a value to that name range, so at the moment I've got new and I've got closed, if I add a value, when I select that name range, it actually includes the extended line. And that's the critical thing with drop downs. So we're now going to go into our impact and likelihood. We're going to um, put some validation in there, hit F3 and select the name range that we've just set in the previous um, tab. Again, we'll do the same for the status. And from this, we now can do drop downs within our data. So we can see the status. And if I add an additional status to the list, then you'll notice that when we go back on the drop down, that additional status is added in. Well, thank you for joining me in this tips and tricks video. I hope you found it useful. Um, we clearly train in all of the Microsoft products. So, so get in touch if you need any help with that. And you can find a link below to the other tips and tricks videos we've produced. Thanks very much.